things could be a whole lot worse, but it's hard to not just kind of feel defeated. So basically what happened was someone snuck into the building here a week ago, went up to one of the upper floors, sprayed lighter fluid and purposefully lit the building on fire. And so that triggered the sprinkler systems upstairs and that resulted in a whole bunch of water coming pouring down into the unnecessary studio from the floors above. And it was just an absolute mess. Luckily the fire was put out pretty quickly. No one was hurt. There was just a bunch of really annoying damage. And so where does that put us with the unnecessary studio? Um, I haven't even really like tested any of the machinery out. I actually just got power yesterday because all of the water came through the electrical system. We had to replace all the circuits. So that just got done. I'm hoping that most of the equipment is doing okay, but I don't really know. In that video I showed you, the fire department tried to cover up as much as they could uh, when the water was coming down. I wasn't allowed back in the building, so I had zero idea what was actually going on in here. And I feel like this is like the only place I can film because there's like 20 high powered fans going off in there. You can probably hear it in the background and it is just so loud in the studio. We have to rip up and replace a whole bunch of the flooring which you saw in the entryway there. They're gonna be replacing a whole bunch of the lighting where all the water came through. The worst part of it all is they have to replace the ceiling, which just doesn't seem like an easy task. And I have to move all of the stuff that's there in the studio out away into another area so they can get working. But you can also see everything was taken off of the walls here by the fire department and they ended up putting it under this tarp. I haven't even looked to see what it looks like under here, but hopefully all my camera stuff and all the like Arduino components that I had over here is somewhere under here. Well, I guess we might as well just start getting to work. just gotta take down the wall of narcissism. And it took me so long to put it together with that tool I made in the other video, but positive thoughts, positive thoughts. Because it gives me a chance to redo it a little bit and maybe I think I'm gonna print out a few additional ones of some newer inventions. Cause this is only like the first like half of inventions that I've done. And it gives me an excuse to just do something new in here. And I believe that on top of the ceiling being replaced, this wall here is also going to be replaced. So I'm feeling like it's truly gonna be quite a while until we're back up and running here in the unnecessary studio. So that got me thinking, maybe I should build some sort of mini studio on wheels. So when I have to be out of the unnecessary studio, I at least have like one 3D printer with me and a handful of other tools. I could still invent things on the go. I just need to decide what that exactly is going to look like. So, uh, so let's go on a field trip once I drop these off. One thing that I have always said is who doesn't love a Black Friday sale in the spring? Okay, so I generally know what I'm looking for. I just need to figure out exactly where it is in the store. Okay, yeah, like this is sort of the idea that I'm thinking, but maybe something a little bit more basic like this, I think would be easier. Yeah, I think pushing this around will work. And I think that I like the red one more than I like the black one. 
So we'll grab one of these. Another thing I think I'm gonna need is beefier wheels. So we have this guy on the cart. Let's see. Yeah, okay, I think that should work there. So these should roll a little bit easier if I'm out and about. So I'll grab a couple of these, two, three, we're good. Oh my God, things are moving quickly. I mean, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing because it's very, it's very overwhelming what's happening. So first of all, a whole lot more stuff got moved into the back room here. Basically everything from the studio over there is now in the back room back here, which we hopefully don't have to do anything to. And that's why this can be the holding area. And I pretty much had no time to film any of it because it was just like Tetris packing everything to get it to actually fit inside of here. And if you think in here looks like a little bit of a mess, just wait till you see out there. Dun, 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 dun. We've got all the fans going, so it might be extremely loud, but I don't have any more walls. So this entire wall has to come down. I'm pretty sure that wall has to come down. This used to be the lobby area, like where I had my 3D printed version of myself, and now it's, uh, it's just completely open. They started taking the ceiling down as well, but I think we need the electricians to come in. They gotta remove all the light structures before they can take the whole rest of the ceiling down. I'm glad it's moving fast, but it's a lot to happen all at once. And then the main studio side has basically been completely emptied out. That was all the stuff that was in here ended up in that back room back there. One year, I've only been here for one year and it looks like I'm just moving in. Ugh. So they also started removing all of the flooring that was here that got damaged from it coming down on the lights. And they started removing this wall here, so I think probably by the end of today, this wall where the wall of narcissism was will be completely gone. And here's the area where my desk was. We were able to, we were able to keep some of the bigger items like the ping pong table and the TV. We're keeping those here so we don't have to move them back and forth so many times. Cover them in plastic wrap as well as the arcade machines. I'm just really hoping that all of my plants survive. They're still by the window and hopefully they're still getting a lot of good light. And then the other room that is also a complete mess is the gear closet. So all of like the random knickknacks that I had out there just like completely got randomly thrown around here in, a in absolutely no rhyme or reason. This one should be a fun one to unpack. And if I need to find something specific that I put in here, I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> but I think we can get back to the original task at hand. Studio on Wheels is definitely coming together and I have some few initial ideas for what's gonna go on here. We head back into this area. I know that I have a 3D printer still in the box, but the only issue is that I have no idea where it is. It's also a smaller A1 Mini, so it should fit on that cart. I just have to find it. Get this out of here. Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. I think this is going to be the perfect size to fit on that little cart. I mean, look how perfectly tiny this little printer is. It should hopefully fit on that cart. Okay, inside of the cart, how well... Oh, it fits. It fits so perfectly. I mean, I think that should pretty much do the trick. It's not really going anywhere. I've got no idea if moving it around while it's printing, if it's still going to be able to like actually 3D print anything. So that's something we're gonna to have to test out at some point. And I know you're probably thinking to yourself, Maddie, how are you gonna power the 3D printer when you're on the go? You might remember like a month ago or so, I made the bracket for the table that that external battery slid onto. Well, we're gonna use that external battery on the cart. And 
I did luck out from the flooding that I actually had it charging in the back gear room. So it actually should be perfectly safe to use and it should be fully charged. Going up, 100% battery. Should I put it on the top shelf with it or should I put it down on the bottom shelf? Hmm, I think down below is gonna be where it's at. And then the power cord, can I guess go down here? Maybe it can wrap around so that there's no cables running anywhere. And we can power it on. And we're in business. I've got a feeling that this is gonna be like my Jigsaw Puzzle coffee table. So I'm gonna like continually build things and add things to it. So let me know down in the comments what type of accessory or tool or something I should build or add to the, to the mobile studio, what should it be? Obviously, I have to print a Benchy as the very first print on this printer on the version 0.15 of the Unnecessary Mobile Studio cart. And I do very much want this to be like a living project. I'm not gonna finish it now because I don't think my brain is in the right place and the workers just showed up, so I think I have to get out of here so they can start tearing down more of the walls. But I think keep an eye out on my shorts. I'm gonna go walk down the street eventually with this thing printing, and I can only imagine what that's gonna look like. And I already know two things I definitely wanna change. I need somewhere to put the filament. So I'm thinking some sort of rod that maybe they all hang out down here and I can stack them there. I also don't love how the filament here is so close to the edge. So I'm thinking if I build something that goes into the screws here and it's a rod that comes out so when I'm actively printing, I can have the filament out here instead of kind of all crammed into this space here but this thing is just cranking away. We already like halfway done with this Benji. I also need to figure out all the tools that I wanna bring while I'm traveling around. So maybe like, this is the glue department, this is the measuring department, this is the Arduino department. But to actually do that, I'm gonna have to go to the gear closet, take that red tarp off of all the stuff that's there, see what it looks like underneath there. Um, and yeah, this is, a, this is gonna be a project. Fingers crossed, unnecessary studio, 2.0 is bigger and better than it was before. So with that, I'm gonna take my mobile studio and head on out of here and maybe go get something done, I don't know.